This is Rod Kusin and Spooman for November the 6th, 2016. It is Sunday evening just prior to 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. On Friday evening, after the big drop took place, at the very close of the market, just moments before, we get a buy signal. It's right there. Oversold condition on the premium, very clear. Divergence. Now, several days before this big drop occurred, the market, the premium in particular, left a very curious bar right here. An overbought high where the premium was at negative 482. It was a naked bar. And in some private videos that many of our members have already seen, we tried to explain away this high because we had such a dramatic drop. Dramatic drop from that price. 2106. And we closed on Friday all the way down at 2078.75. Huge drop. The previous day Premium even left a higher mark at 2107. And so we thought, well, perhaps, as is sometimes the case, it's rare. Maybe it was a miscalculation of the premium. So we went back and we checked. We calculated the premium ourselves. And we looked for any other verification as to whether this was an accurate read on the premium. And we couldn't find any evidence that it was inaccurate. But it sure left a nervous feeling. Because naked bars, typically within a, about a two-day period of time, the market will come back and will hit that price. But the market tanked over 25 points. Well over 25 points. So we almost got to thinking, well, we maybe better just forget about that because uh, it's just an anomaly. It's not going to get hit. The market's been tanking. But then we got a buy signal on Friday afternoon, very late. What has happened in just the last few hours? We're going to take you there right now. If you're not already aware of it, of course, by now, by the time you're looking at this, you will be. But we called it. Actually, the premium called it right here at the close on November 1st and on November 2nd okay here and here it said the market was going back up did it there it is buy signal right at the low. And we have gapped up. We have gapped up. On the first bar to 21875, higher than the forecasted 
rally back to 2107, which is right there. So there you have it. The premium, one, two, three full days prior to this gap up, forecasted a return to this price, and it is exactly what has happened. That is amazing. It has been quite some time since we saw the premium forecast a change that took three days, really better than three days, <clears throat> for it to pan out. But it did, and it has done it in a most unusual way. <laughs> and of course, we know this is largely news-driven due to certain political announcements that have taken place uh, today, Sunday, November 6th. So. The market may now be forecasting something else for the election, not that we care. <laughs> but in any event, you see what's happened here. The premium has done an amazing job of forecasting. There's nothing else that can do this. The premium is one of the most accurate indicators there are, and if you don't know how to read it, it's about time you learn. It will teach you very economically and you will be so happy that you learned this because there's no better indicator there is no better indicator anywhere than the premium I'm Rod Kusin and Spoohan for risk <laughs>